Hey everybody, what's up? It's your boy, The Cigar Chingon. Welcome back to another edition of My Tobacco Journey. This is where we talk about my journey from day one, cigars, cigarettes, pipes, everything, anything tobacco related. So uh, we will be talking about this guy today, the Savinelli Hercules 111 EX Extra Large. It's great. It's in fact, one of my favorite pipes. Uh, it's it's just a beautiful pipe. We'll get into that later. And uh, at the end of the video, we'll have an unveil and we'll go through more of the uh, specs and everything for you. So if you do decide to get one and you will not be disappointed, you'll know what you're in store for. One thing I was asked, though, was uh, in regards to lighters, what do I like using versus what do I not? And as a general rule of thumb, when I first like cigarettes, I mean, you're going to use a big lighter, a Zippo, whatever, whatever lights your cigarette. And that tobacco in itself is way different than cigar tobacco or pipe tobacco. Uh, it's been my experience that with cigars, um, initially I had used the big lighter and I evolved. Uh, thank you to my local cigar shop into a jet flame. It uh, uses a more clear. Uh, clean burning fuel versus the Bic or a Zippo. Um, the lighter fluid itself kind of throws off the taste of the tobacco and any kind of flavor nuances you can get or anything like that. So I don't like that chemical taste in my tobacco. So I, I don't use those as a rule of thumb with my cigars as well as with my pipes. Now I did see on some videos where people were using uh, Zippos, the traditional ones on their pipes and uh, at one time, I, I, you know, if you prefer that and that works for you, cool. But at one time, I, I think this was prevalent in that, uh, in that hobby. Me personally, I don't. Uh, what I did is I went out and I got a proper soft flame and I always have a spare can of butane in here just to keep these puppies full. So um, now lighters range in a variety of prices, shapes, sizes, all that. I use Jetline and uh, they've been pretty reliable. I've never really had problems with them. The storage capacity is pretty good. Uh, it lasts me a while. And I just, th these are about 12 to 15 bucks. Do I wanna pay more? Do I wanna pay 130, 100 and so forth for uh, like a I Am Corona or uh, some of the Calibris that I see? Not today, not really. This does the trick for me. I love it. Uh, I have had a Zycar in the past for my cigars and um, you know, great company. If anything goes wrong, you send it back and they usually send you a new one if they can't repair it. Uh, really good return policy. But as a rule of thumb, Jetline, this has been my personal favorite and I haven't been disappointed. With my cigars as well as my pipes, Matches, you know, uh, for that first light on my pipes, I usually use two matches, light it, let the sulfur burn off, and then just light my pipe. Um, as I said before, it's been a learning curve, smoking pipe versus smoking cigars. Uh, there's a real technique in the pipe smoke. I was talking with someone the other day, actually, and we'll do this on another video in regards to packing the pipe uh, and smoking it. Uh, it took me a minute to figure out how to do it the right way and then how to puff on it the, the correct way. A side note, folks, if you're going to use a cigar lighter, be very careful on, uh, on a pipe. I learned the hard way that uh, these, jet, these jet flames right here, they burn right through the, the wood real quick. So it'll leave a somewhat of a big char stain. It's a learning curve. It's my tobacco journey. <laughs> so without further ado, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and then I'll get to it in another uh, video. Like I said, the next one, I think we'll do something on packing techniques and whatnot. Like I said, I am an amateur, so I am learning this. This is my journey. So we're kind of learning together, but uh, I think I got the right technique because I can sit back and uh, just relax now instead of lighten and lighten and lighten and then just getting that bowl way too hot so we'll get to that on the next video but 
it's time for this guy. All so, right, as promised, the Savinelli Hercules Rusticated 111 EX, extra large. That's right. Look at that. Beautiful pipe. Now, the EX series is a little bit bigger than their king size. Here's a king size right here. And you can see just a little bit bigger, but big enough. The chamber itself is about almost two inches deep. You can see that right there. And the diameter is 0.92. So it's almost a full inch. Overall length, it's about six and a half inches. Hercules. Look at that. Really, really nice pipe. I particularly enjoy this one. This one is, is my favorite. Uh, just because of the size of the chamber and just the way it smokes. it's uh, There's no filter and it's just a beautiful, beautiful pipe. The Savinelli Hercules 111 Extra Large Rusticated. On three, one, two, three. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy, it's the Cigar Chingon. Welcome back to my tobacco journey. Not to let you down. Fuck. We are gonna talk about this little guy today. The Savinelli Hercules, 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 